Now I'm going to go to some of the species that is you can plant on your property um, uh, in your area. Uh, we're going to start with coniferous, uh, with pines. Um, let me tell you this before I, I go in description. Uh, every tree has a, the good, the bad, and ugly part. There's no perfect tree. So every, every tree has a pluses and minuses. And uh, to understand them, that is very important. So I'm going to start with pines. You can definitely plant Scots pine, lodgepole pine, ponderosa pine in your area, uh, and mugul pine. Those are pines you will sh should grow in your area and shouldn't have any, any problem to grow in your area. They are long-lived. Most of the, all of them like full sunlight and they can stand uh, a lot of wind. Uh, they are really wind firm. Spruce, uh, they like full shade. They like northern expo uh, exposure. Uh, they don't prefer full sunlight when, when they're young until when they start uh, getting big. Uh, they, are, they have a very shallow root system. Uh, excellent wind break, but they are very slow growing. The options are Colorado spruce. Uh, you can plant black hill, white spruce, fat Albert, and there's a few few other spruce trees. Is, spruce trees that you can that you might consider plant on your property. Um, you might have a tamarack, but probably in your area the best uh, way for the lodge is Siberian lodge. Uh, they are introduced from Siberia. And they are growing very fast. They require full sunlight. And this is the only coniferous that shed the needles in the fall and grow them in the spring. Um, they, uh, they are usually, um, uh, uh, they are tolerant, low tolerance to the salt. So watch out, watch out for the salt. Cedars and junipers, if you want a privacy, um, they are nice shrubs and, or, or mini trees, as they call them. Uh, Branded cedar and Rocky Mountain juniper uh, are one of the choices. Rocky Mountain juniper is very good for the salt. If you have a cell on area, this one can grow, no problem. One of the downfall is uh, cedar apple rust, which can not gonna damage the cedar and juniper, but if you have apple scrub, apple scotors, definitely is gonna create a problem to them. Aspen, black poplar, or cottonwoods. Cottonwoods, definitely a great choice in your area. They grow fast, they are massive, they protect, uh, they shelter, they can shelter lots of other species. Uh, and generally speaking, they're long lived. If you want to plant some hybrid poplars, uh, there is a variety of them. They are fast growing, uh, 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 the uh, roots are very aggressive. They can grow definitely in wet area and they require lots of watering. Be careful of the male and female. Uh, female clones produce the fluffy and cotton seeds. If you don't like them, you know, you can choose the male. Um, on the drier side, they are sometimes smaller. Um, and again, there is, a, there is a several options of the hybrid poplars. Birch, uh, birch prefer not too dry, not too wet area. With, the, with area, there is a nice moisture and, and kind of water is running uh, all the time. So they don't, they don't like the area where it's too much water or too dry. Um, and uh, there is uh, paper birch, white birch, weeping cut leaf. Uh, Dakota pinnacle is one of the one of the birds that can definitely grow. They do have a problem with the birch border, uh, at least in Edmonton area, and they they kill the top of the trees. Maples, uh, Manitoba maple, definitely is one of the species. Is also can handle the, uh, quite a bit salt and can handle lots of water as well. Uh, there is a variety of them they they usually live way over 50 years uh one of the things with maples they're prophylic seed producers and you might not uh you might pay attention to them um because if they produce lots of seeds they can tolerate the drought as well some of the maples like um uh silver leaf maple can uh, they have a winter stem stem die back ash trees um they are the uh, trees that leaf uh out the latest and the leaf fell off earliest. Um, they are very hardy species, green, black ash, uh, patmore ash, uh, foothills is one of them. They last 50 to 80 years. They also prophylic seeders, uh, seed producers, but also they have a deep root, uh, deep roots, uh, and they can withstand lots of wind. Cotton ipsilides and aphids are, are definitely could be a problem with them. Elms, you have a great elms. Uh, in your area, American Elm, Brand, uh, Brandon Elm, and Siberian. Each of them are magnificent trees. Um, uh, all of them uh, can be quite lots of moisture, except the Siberian. Um, 
and uh, but watch out for Dutch on disease. That is already in your area. Linders, this one of the uh, one of the trees trees that are not used as much. They are wonderful flowers, um, and we you back in Europe we used to produce the tea from the linden uh, linden flowers. Uh, honey is produced uh, in Europe from the linden. You have American True North, Drop Model, and, and more than Little Leaf. They are very short, short, 30, 40 feet tall trees. Uh, great shape, um, great trees to plant. Uh, very, uh, very few serious pests. Willows, as, as you have already the golden leaf, lower leaf, sharp leaf, acute willows, it's already in your area. Um, definitely on the wet area, they grow very fast, multi stems. Um, and definitely great choice. Now, some of the shrubs, hawthorns, if you have a dry area, um, they can last 30 to 50 years. They suck quite a bit, actually. Uh, wonderful uh, for the fruits, uh, for the birds, and uh, they, they grow uh, not fast, but they moderate growth. Chalk cherries is one of the options. Uh, there is a few of them that is might uh, successful to the black knot. Uh, they are. Sh they don't prefer the shade. Uh, buffalo berry is one of the species that definitely can consider an area when you have a high salinity and, and a heavy clay. Um, they prefer dry area uh, in, in many ways, but again, they I've seen them growing in the where is the clay. Uh, they last a lot. They can do this lots of. They can spread, uh, and they have a. Uh, they leave lots of uh, fruits that can be good for the wildlife. See, Bacturin is other salt tolerant species, um, grow in the sandy soil, suckers quite a bit. Uh, sometimes can be difficult to establish, but it's definitely once you establish, it's, it's going to last long. Lilac, beautiful shrub that can be planted under the power lines, and they can also tolerate some of the level of the salt spread by the seed. Um, wonderful. Wonderful flowers. There is a few few of those species of the lilac that you'd be able to plant, and then you have a range of other flowering shrubs and trees that you can pick and choose in for your particular area. Uh, 